Here it is, guys. You're here for it. This is the tech noise. Tech noise. Tech noise. That's right, in the tech noise today, Apple unveiled the iPhone 13, 13 mini, 13 Pro, and 13 Pro Max without mentioning the lightning port even once, most likely out of shame. Exactly. They know what they did. The whole lineup has a 20% smaller notch and bigger batteries with the lower tier phones getting hand-me-down cameras from last year's iPhone 12 Pro Max to help with the new cinematic mode aka autofocus, but with AI this time. The 13 Pro models got slightly fancier cameras with support for ProRes video recording, that's pretty sweet, and a new one terabyte model to store all of that sizable footage. It should be noted though that the 128 gig Pro model can only do 1080p 30 because presumably of storage limitations. Heaven forbid they just put an expansion slot on it. The Pro models also now have an adaptive 120 hertz Pro Motion display, but come on, would you rather have that for a thousand bucks or the new iPad mini, which has the same A15 Bionic chip, 5G, pencil support, and freaking USB-C for $650? <laughs> I mean, it's the big phone Apple should have made. For shame, Apple! For shame! There was also an updated 9th gen iPad and the new Apple Watch Series 7 featuring a bigger screen and a nice swipe keyboard that was almost certainly copied from an accessibility app called FlickType that Apple forced to shut down not long before yesterday's event. That's not anti-competitive. Those guys, they could just make their own smartwatch. Yeah, it's elementary. Speaking of competition, Xiaomi released some compelling products to compete with Apple in the form of the Xiaomi 11T and 11T Pro, complete with fast processors, super fast charging, 120 hertz display, 5,000 milliamp hour batteries, and 108 megapixel main cameras. Launching these the day after Apple's event was already going to draw some comparisons, but the new Pad 5 made sure of it. It's an Android tablet that not only looks very much like an iPad, it might also be a decent Android tablet, which that feels yeah. just, what? Good. <laughs> Xiaomi also one-upped Facebook this week with the announcement of its smart glasses, which apparently have an optical waveguide display in the right lens, in addition to cameras mounted on the arms. I mean, did you see this, Tim Apple? <laughs> Xiaomi is pulling ahead because you guys won't put USB-C on your phones. Yeah. They can play Fortnite on the glasses! I don't know, but I mean... Come on, Tim! Facebook is probably content to let Xiaomi steal their smart glasses spotlight, though, thanks to a report from the Wall Street Journal that found that studies conducted by Instagram concluded that the social media platform almost certainly contributes in some way to higher levels of anxiety and depression in teens. needed the science. The report criticizes the Facebook-owned platform for knowing about the study's conclusions since 2019, but not making them available to the public. In response, Instagram said that the studies were proof that they were trying to understand the effects their platform has on teens. And isn't that good enough? Uh, no! Uh, you just, you just don't, you just don't understand me! Uh, <laughs> I'm running away, and this time I mean it. In an apparent effort to get in front of similar criticism, TikTok has now rolled out warnings that will appear in front of potentially distressing content, which teens will definitely pay attention to. Uh, also, a separate Wall Street Journal report identified millions of VIP Facebook users that were allowed to break the platform's rules with no consequences because of their follower counts. So, you know the right thing to do. Come over to Twitter, which is the super mentally healthy we're all, social media we're app. All fine over here. Yeah, we're great. Now it's time for Quick Bits, brought to you by Storyblocks and its massive library of stock footage, images, audio, and After Effects templates, which we use in almost every TechLinked episode because it's great. And also, we don't know how to take the camera off the tripod. It just got stuck there. I don't want to talk about it. Storyblocks recently launched the Restock Initiative to make content that more accurately reflects our world. So they've hired new BIPOC and LGBTQIA filmmakers to create authentic stock content depicting underrepresented communities. They've got affordable subscriptions with unlimited video and audio downloads. So check out Storyblocks today at storyblocks.com slash techlinked. And we're back. 
Quick Bakes! Nutritious and ready in just one second. By the time this video goes live, SpaceX will have probably already launched the first private flight to space crewed entirely by private citizens not currently affiliated with the military or a space agency like NASA. I mean, yeah, Richard Branson and Jeff Bezos flew suborbital flights that lasted a few minutes, but these people will be orbiting the Earth for three days, hopefully raising $200 million for St. Jude Children's Hospital in the process from, from the humans on Earth. That's where the money will come from. I'm pretty sure that they don't think they're gonna find money in space, but I've never been up there, so who's there's, to say? There's definitely a car. There's that asteroid that's like worth trillions of dollars. Uh, Microsoft is now allowing you to ditch the password on your Microsoft account completely. Instead, Microsoft will let you use the Microsoft Authenticator app on your phone, Windows Hello, or a physical security key to sign in. This is honestly great because passwords suck. Every password, no, it sucks. Some, mine, probably... mine is all numbers and special characters. Yeah. It takes like 14 minutes to type. It sucks. That sounds good. After requiring Apple to allow third-party payment options in the iOS App Store, the country, which country, has now turned its sights on Google, oh. fining the tech giant 177 million US dollars for abusing its mobile dominance by suppressing forks of the Android operating system. Yeah. Imagine South Korea caring about a <laughs> Google not allowing forks of the Android operating system. Gee, I wonder where that criticism came from. <laughs> Excuse me. It's only the latest development in the antitrust craze that's sweeping the globe. I mean, all the cool kids are talking about monopolies these days. There's, there's TikTok dances about breaking up Facebook for crying out loud. Four years after its launch, Nintendo seemingly remembered that the Nintendo Switch has Bluetooth. So they have finally released an update enabling support for Bluetooth audio. Woo! Although some users are experiencing, no, you know what? I will talk about this later. Oh. Nintendo, you can update things. Mario Party for the Switch, great game. What? Lots of fun, Mario lots Party. of fun, but, but there's no way to turn off the tutorial when you play the board game. You have to sit through the tutorial every time. This rant is too specific. The, no, let me finish. Oh. You have to sit through it every time, no matter if you know the rules and there's these long animations. I just want to play the board game. It stretches out to take twice as long. Just make them f***ing skippable, oh, Nintendo. Swearing at them. Now, some users are experiencing some glitches, including audio delays and slow boot times after receiving the update. So maybe there was a reason Nintendo didn't enable the feature up until now, but hey, uh, doing it out of spite also wouldn't really be out of character for them. And VR is fine, but you have to stand up, or at best, sit down to play it. Come on, give me a VR headset like the Half Dive, which is the world's first VR system designed to be used while lying down. Yes, this is probably going to be used for sexy VR things, but it could also be really good for people with disabilities who otherwise aren't able to enjoy VR. Either way, looks like an incredible way to fight back against the idea that VR games are also going to be exercise, even no. just a little bit of it. Because it. it's terrible. There should be no exercise at all. Sitting and it would be wrong to continue this episode. So come back on Friday for more tech noise. <laughs> don't worry, these are dead. These are dead. Will we include the Mario Party bit? I don't know.